the one we've been waiting for. We being Martin Tyler and Alan Smith in the commentary box, and you, of course, ready to watch the game unfold. Yeah, I can't wait for this one. And today it's Real Madrid, and they face Espanyol. Well, Alan, you and I have been very lucky to work in this football cathedral, the stadium that is the Santiago Bernabeu. Special place, Martin, isn't it? Every time you stand down on the touchline, look up at those steep stands, it's a wonderful sight. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Two important goals, last time out, really good. Well, we know, Alan, how they like to play with plenty of possession, lots of short passes. Expecting exactly the same from them here? Well, you'd imagine so, wouldn't you? That is their default setting, as it were. And as the opposition, I think you've got to stay so organised and you've got to work so hard. It's not a game you look forward to, really. Here's the team list for Espanyol. Diogo Lopez starts in goal. Granero starts alongside Javi Fuego in the middle of the park. And up front is Leo Baptistao. They seem to have moved on a little bit, Real Madrid, from just signing the best players in the world and having that Galactico philosophy. They do get the best players in the world, but there's more of a right wish really to get them to operate as a team rather than a collection of individuals yeah you wonder if they've been influenced a little bit by Barcelona's approach that team ethic more than the glut offside against Benzema he can afford to give those defenders a yard or two you know because he's quicker than them Baptistao Shoots. That's what the goalkeepers are hoping to get all the game, really. Simple saves like that for Kilo Navas. Just to go back to Real Madrid, Alan, and are they more of a team these days than perhaps when the Galacticos were everywhere around the stadium? For certain, Zinedine Zidane tried to introduce that ethos, and it's the right way forward for me. It's looking good, this move. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Modric. Another turnover in play here with that interception. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Tony Kroos. Carvajal. Gross. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Now Casimiro. Tony Cross. Still passing, but not really making inroads. Towards Bale. Cleared away, well away from goal. Strong challenge. Granero. Modric. Now Casimiro. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Well, this is a chance from the free kick.
well with him. You know he's going to go for goal, but he's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. Javi Fuego. Leo Baptistao. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. He's got his shot off now. That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. A goal from Baptiste out, and what a goal from him that was. He's put his laces through it, and it's flown past the keeper. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Modric. Sergio Ramos. Modric. And this is. What you expect from Real Madrid. Baptistao. Tony Kroos. Gareth Bale. Modric. Bale. On to Modric. Great place to win it back. Uh, saw it all the way, the goalkeeper, and it's comfortable in the end. Well, what we've seen so far, it hasn't been the real Real Madrid because they are behind. That doesn't happen to them very often. They haven't passed the ball very well. They haven't found the potency in their attack. And the, the consolation, really, for their supporters and indeed for the players is that I don't think they can play this poorly again in the second half. Rafael Varad on the move and able to cut out the pass. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. It's a good cross, and they get it away. Bale and the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes Tony Kroos Marcelo Modric good defending Pablo Piatti Real Madrid looking good here so it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Leo Baptistao. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Here in the Bernabeu, we're underway in the second half. Gareth Bale. Quick header, found a teammate. Now Casimiro. Modric. And here they are, Real on the attack again. Slip past his man now. Modric. Modric. Casimiro. It's Kroos. Ronaldo! Great work from the goalkeeper. Modric. Kroos. Carvajal. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. He's 
good play until they got that challenge in. Modric. They're playing a lot through Tony Kroos. Makes the game look so simple. Cristiano Ronaldo. Benzema. With Ronaldo. Casemiro. Modric. With Benzema. Modric! Steered in very classily. Well, the equaliser has happened. Took perhaps the opposition by surprise. But we're level again. It's what they've deserved. And here's the goal again. So, away we go at one all. Javi Fuego. Modric. Played back. Pablo Piatti. Coming on strong and looking to play the... This might be it! And that's the goal that puts them in front. For the underdogs, a joyous moment. It's a brilliant moment. What they've got to do is calm down now and settle and make sure they don't give away anything silly. Different angle on it here. Showing his frustrations, the manager. I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't. And his team are losing now. Real Madrid are losing at the moment. Rafael Varad. Tony Kroos. Kroos. It's looking a real uphill climb for Real Madrid. It's time for the Alamo by the looks of it. They need a goal and they're piling everybody forward. Typical Ronaldo, he wants to take them on. Found his teammate well anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene but well, we can catch up with the details of that injury from uh, our man Jeff Shrews Jeff he landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and is in some discomfort but he's a tough cookie I think he'll stay out there well Jeff thank you for that update he's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions for Madrid the second half hasn't really improved too much Real trying working uh, different players different tactics but they just can't get through an obdurate an opponent and the obduracy is going to bring victory i think well this attack has got a bit of menace to it karim benzema shots on here well it looked a bad miss i think the defender just put him off yeah he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, you have to take the shot quickly the lad who was trying to score Under some pressure, he shielded it well. Granero. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Good challenge here. Modric. Gareth Bale. David Lopez. The opposition are pressing high up the pitch, but they're keeping the ball. They've got enough numbers back. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. Best Martin at just shifting across, reading the pass. This could be it. Bale! Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. And it's come to an end now as the referee blows the whistle for the last time.
Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.